Hello, hello guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. Please, if you like the video like that, talk about about luxury, luxury videos. You can like here, please subscribe down below. So today I'm gonna share with you guys uh, the pre-explain before I got this beauty. My mini Kelly in Nata with the palladium hardware. If you don't saw the unboxing, I'm gonna link over here for you guys. Go check it out. I'm show a little bit more, and I will gonna do later on more what fit and how I style and everything else. So subscribe to check it out. All right, a lot of people like to see, and me too. So the video that you're gonna see here is the video that I like to watch. I think it's kind of informative too. I'm gonna show you my pre explain that's going to be the first quarter bag that I spent the one-to-one. -one. This one was a little bit over one-to-one -one race. I don't believe on this one-to-one -one too much because my first two was definitely not. I really believe with that click with your, with the, your essay, your essay like you, uh, he see you shopping, he see you really um, love the brand and willing to give you a bag without no pre expand I believe on those, of course, you do have some locations that require the pre expand because, of course, it's really, really popular. A lot of people like VVIPs or whatever, or people that are expand expecting, so they should do with everybody because the ones that really, really expand it is expecting that. So I, I guess like they already just put it for everybody, but I think it's a small town, a small store. It's not like much to that, of course. And of course, you, you have the uh, Paris store in some like Hawaii, um, I believe in Mexico or more, tourist store. They, they gonna give bags. It's not much about your expand. Of course, the locals gonna have, and the visitor here and there, they gonna offer people a bag. And even I see a story about uh, New York kind of doing that of course you go with that spend a little bit not need to be one to one so yes I don't believe this one to one but of course I'm gonna show you guys and this one I'm gonna already tell you was a little bit over uh, the bag amount so let's do it for I started I did purchase Shandon I don't know the name or uh, the ring that I use the earring and the necklace right I, I bought it right after my Kelly was January February was March like on the end of March right after I got off of my Kelly the next visit that's what I got and like a week before like yes a week before uh, my husband got me two sandals is around uh, two orange sandal around 1800 because the fluff one was a thousand forty five and the regular one was 700 so a lot uh, 1800 dollars before taxes like after taxes of course I'm going to tell everything before taxes so my husband got two sandals I went over there to change size and then I got the necklace and uh, 1300 dollars uh, two thousand dollars for the necklace and my husband got me to send those eighteen hundred dollars so there was five five thousand hundred dollars fifty one hundred for the first week that's to uh, this quarterback and the next visit I went I went and get a uh I ordered it she did not have in a store I went to visit and I believe this this time I did not got nothing uh, the two things I ordered, oh, the only thing I got was the, I did order the jacket, the pink jacket, um, box I'm going to link over here, pink jacket, and I ordered, I bought the brow yoga collection, and I ordered the pants way later, so let's put over there, the second time I went over there, the brow was 500 for 75 and the jacket was 1600 hours of income to the house so 1600 for the jacket and 500 so and there was 2100 
for the second visit was well, maybe like three weeks later. I try to go like once a week. I don't count. I go, but at least once a month. And there's sometimes a little past a month. It's not like oh, every every month. Next visit, I got a dress and I ordered shoes. The dress was thousand dollars, five fifty plus tax, and the shoes was nine hundred. So eighteen hundred. Next visit. And then next was, I, I got a shoes for my husband for Father's Day, July. I got a shoes for my husband and I got a, I think that's when I would pick up, I ordered my Jago pants. So the Jago pants, no, not the Jago, the yoga pants. The yoga pants was $900, $890. And then my husband's shoes was $902, so another $1,800. And last, I bought it the sweatshirt that I have the unboxing here too. I got the sweatshirt, the sweatpants, um, $1,100 for the shirt, and $1,500 for the pants, $1,450. I'm just gonna round up everything else. So, yeah, so it's gonna be $2,000. 600 for the matching suit that I got the pants and the shirt and then I got the my D-ring that was for $500 everything that I spent with her um, until I got my mini Kayla was $14,000 yes yeah, so the bag was 9000 600 let me check i'm gonna put it over here i gotta check on the box but i explained another 2000 with the, another essay because i went over there and she was not there uh i told you got the story uh and then i got the my shoes the white shoes that i've been wearing i or pre i ordered with him they sent to the house and i got an orange sandal with him for my friend, that was a, a gift. There was another a nineteen hundred dollars I spent with him, and I completely forgot. I got the wallet. That was sixteen hundred, one thousand six hundred. So that was really fifteen thousand six hundred dollars that I expended before my bag. So of course, one and a half. Let's put over there a little bit over one uh no regret i did not shop like i know if for my next bag i was gonna want something a little bit more hard to get it hard to get it or limited edition because i want the cargo stuff so i was really getting everything more i was just like diving deep and getting stuff there of course i really wanted but more a little explain a little more going over there every month yes that's what i got after that for my first two bags i did not went over um i did not uh, went over the 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 limit of the same price of the bag that was gonna that was the first bag and after i got this did not shop yet did not shop yet of course we everybody know i'm not gonna have another bag this year so i am chilling i'm gonna wait till march december go with that shop a little bit to next year bag <laughs> so that's my thought but of course it don't have nothing that catch my eyes right now i've been wanting the cat ring and i want the bracelet so i'm just gonna wait for december and maybe um get some like to the end of december you already put in my new wish list bag that come next year for sure let me know in the comment down below what you guys think and which was your pre expense before your bag let us know down below thank you so much for tuning in guys i see you guys next video bye